Imagine a world without coffee. I can't, nor do I want to. Coffee is a complex subject with many different types of coffee beans available, and it can be overwhelming for a beginner to know where to start. That's why I've put together this comprehensive guide to coffee beans, including information on different types, roasts and origins. Coffee can be traced back to the ancient kingdom of Ethiopia. It is believed that coffee was first discovered by a goat herd named Kaldi, who noticed that his goats became more energetic after eating the red berries of a particular shrub. Intrigued, Kaldi tried the berries himself and experienced a similar burst of energy. Word of this miraculous plant quickly spread, and soon people all over Ethiopia were consuming the roasted and ground berries as a beverage. From Ethiopia, the use of coffee spread to the countries of Yemen and Saudi Arabia, where it became an integral part of their cultures and social customs. In the 16th century, coffee beans were introduced to Europe, where they quickly gained popularity. By the 17th century, coffee had become a fashionable drink amongst the wealthy and was being served in coffee houses, which became important centres of social and political life. Today, coffee is grown in over 50 countries around the world, with the largest producers being Brazil, Vietnam and Colombia. The cultivation of coffee requires specific climatic conditions and the beans are typically grown in regions located between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. So let's move on to roast levels. Generally there's three being light, medium and dark roast coffee. Light roast coffee beans are roasted for a shorter amount of time than medium or dark. This produces coffee that has a lighter colour, a drier surface and a more pronounced acidity compared to darker roasts. Medium roast coffee is known for its balanced flavour profile and smooth, medium-bodied mouthfeel. The flavours of medium roast coffee are more muted than those of light roast coffee, as the roasting process has partially caramelised the beans and caused some of the flavours to be lost. Dark roast coffee beans are roasted for the longest amount of time. The coffee has a dark brown, almost black colour, a shiny and oily surface and a strong bold flavour. The roasting process has fully caramelised the beans, which gives dark roast coffee its signature deep dark colour and flavours of chocolate and caramel and sometimes even a hint of smokiness. So, now let's go on a journey to the coffee growing regions of the world, starting with Africa. Africa is the second largest continent in the world and is home to a diverse range of climates and landscapes. From the lush rainforests of West Africa to the dry savannas of East Africa, each region has its own unique conditions that impact the growth and production of coffee beans. The majority of African coffee is grown in the eastern and central parts of the continent, in countries such as Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. These countries have high elevations, fertile soils and abundant rainfall, which are all ideal conditions for growing coffee. Today, Ethiopia is still the largest producer of coffee in Africa with many small-scale farmers relying on coffee as a major source of income. Kenya and Tanzania are known for their exceptional coffee, which is as often described as having bright and fruity flavours. Next up we go to Central and South America. The majority of coffee in the region is grown in countries such as Brazil, Colombia and Peru. Coffee was first introduced to the region in the 18th century and has since become a major agricultural commodity. Brazil produces nearly 30% of the world's coffee and has somewhere in the region of 220,000 active coffee farms. 
A large proportion of Brazilian coffee is of low grade and used in instant coffee, though you can still get single origin coffees, such as Brazil Santos. Onwards to Asia. First of all, it's important to note that Asia is a huge continent with many different countries and regions, each with their own coffee growing traditions. However, there are some generalizations that can be made about Asian coffee beans as a whole. One thing that sets as Asian coffee apart is its bold, full-bodied flavor. Asian countries generally have a humid and tropical climate, which is ideal for growing robuster coffee beans. These beans tend to have a higher caffeine content and a more bitter, earthy flavour than the more delicate Arabica beans that are more commonly grown in Latin America and Africa. When thinking about coffee growing countries, Vietnam is not usually at the top of someone's list, yet Vietnam is the second largest coffee producer in the world. Vietnam primarily grows robusta beans for the instant coffee market. If you go to Vietnam, mind you, you may have the opportunity to drink coffee the way the Vietnamese do. It's usually very strong and it's served with sweetened condensed milk. Finally, we end in the Caribbean. The Caribbean is home to a number of countries and territories that produce coffee, including Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica and Puerto Rico. Cuba often experiences heavy rainfall so their coffee production can be quite sporadic. The coffee tends to be picked by hand, is generally of a higher grade Arabica variety and has an earthy bitter taste. Jamaica produces one of the most expensive and sought after coffees in the world, Jamaican Blue Mountain. This coffee enjoys having a certification from the Coffee Industry Regulation Act to stop people passing off other coffees under this name. Over 80% of Jamaican Blue Mountain is exported to Japan, so good luck if you manage to get your hands on some. The taste profile is mild, smooth and has very strong floral aromas. So if you're a fan of smooth, balanced coffee with a sweet, fruity aroma, then Caribbean coffee beans might just be what you're looking for. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you'll join me again for more coffee-related content.